Are you looking for a husband? Are you looking for a permanent bobo? Are you looking for a bobo that you can call your own? A bobo that you can possess? A bobo that you can say, this is my own. The bone of my bone. The flesh of my flesh. My own man. Oh, beam. Oh, your name will be Parina Parina. Are you looking for someone like this? I have been searching for donkey years. You have been wondering. Now, my village people, they follow me. Now, for my mama's side. Oh. What's popping? Kill and share again in name, eh? Let's go there. Okay, wonderful people, beautiful people. It is your favorite Achalugo, Dera Gizel, on the microphone. If you're new to my channel, I am Chinera Gizel. Please, can you introduce yourself in the comment section and let's start bonding, let's start vibing, let's start becoming family. So, I received this message. This thing touched my heart. It touched the inner part of my heart. It touched the bottom of my heart, the depth of my soul. And I decided to just sit down inside here and pass this message across. As the title and thumbnail of this video says, I am here to tell you how to attract the right man. First of all, the first thing I want to say is that so many people in our society, so many ladies in our society are so, so focused on finding the right man. They are so, so focused on finding the perfect partner, the man that will treat them well, the man that will look after them, the man that will fund all their bills, the man that will do this, do that, do heaven and earth for them, respect their family, be so perfect and all of that even if they are not God and even if they can't create anybody and in the process of trying to find the right man they forget to ask themselves whether they are actually the right people for the right man they are looking for yeah you want the right man you want the perfect man and you're not working on yourself so many of you want to settle down so many of you want to finally do wedding party so many of you want to finally become somebody's wife and all of that you want to do a shabby you want to become somebody's mother you want to become somebody's woman and you're not working on yourself some of you here you have really 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 bad characters i'm nobody to judge but then when you look at yourself you know your character is really bad you don't have manner of approach you are not someone that will give somebody peace of mind. Or you are the kind of person that if you are in a relationship with a guy, that guy must afford everything you want. He must pay your bills. He must do everything for you. He must be everything for you. But you can't be something for him. Like, I'm not saying you can't be everything for him because there are so many people that are selfish. You have not restructured yourself. You have not restructured your mind. But you are searching for Mr. Right. You are wanting a right man, but you are not Mrs. Right. It is not right. Yes, <laughs> I know this is beginning to sound like pump, but it is not right that you yourself, you are not right and you are searching for Mr. Right. So you have to evaluate yourself. You have to pick up a pen and a paper and search and search yourself, evaluate yourself, score yourself, do exam for yourself, do the math. And as I was saying about carrying yourself, how do you package yourself? Do you carry yourself with a girlfriend energy and you expect guys to drool over you? You see some girls here, they are so bothered about their looks. They are so bothered about how they will look so sexy. Sorry, I have to switch. The sun is already looking somehow. Like I was saying, some girls are so bothered about looking sexy they're so bothered about looking so perfect so when guys see them they're going to be like oh look at that hot girl look at how hot she is oh my god look at her hips look at her hips look at this look at that oh my god beauty is fleeting beauty is fleeting forget what the social media tells you today no matter how much money he has it's not your beauty that will hold him forever yes your beauty can tie a man down beauty is fleeting don't allow social media to deceive you don't allow social media to tell you that you just have to look perfect this lady looks perfect that is why she got this man a man does not want to in his life he's not going to chop your beauty so that plastic surgery you are doing that liposuction you are doing that lip enlargement or reduction that nose shaping, that face sculpting, that bleaching cream you are rubbing does not matter. What matters is who you are, how you are carrying yourself, what energy are you giving out. So many people are just 
after their physical appearance how they look on the outside and they're not asking themselves if how i look on the outside would attract him is he going to stay forever is he going to put a ring on my finger and after putting that ring on my finger is he actually going to take me to his parents come to my parents ask my hand in marriage and even when i marry him is the marriage going to be long lasting is my physical appearance going to maintain everything and keep my home i'm not trying to say that the duty of keeping a home is just for the woman what i'm trying to say is that so many of us who forget the long-term sustainability of this thing we forget about this thing being sustained for the long term and we are just focused on our outward appearance and in the end you meet a guy he does whatever he wants to do with you he messes up with you and you just go on insta blog one day and you see his invitation card you see his wedding invitation with and that lady because so many of us forget about what is long lasting we forget about what can be sustained and we just focus on what is happening now and i think i've talked about the girlfriend energy so much so many of us have been affected by our upbringing yeah someone like me i made a video about how i grew up without my father on this channel it's on this channel it's somewhere on this channel and i said that in as much as i grew up without my father i don't want my children to grow up without their father but i will say i'm different to some extent because there are so many people that were raised alone or so many people that were raised in abusive homes so many people who their fathers were not fathers to them i don't know how to put it not necessarily single motherhood scenarios there are some people that their fathers were abusive their fathers never fended for them their fathers never did everything they were supposed to do as parents and it has affected them it has shaped them negatively yeah i'll say negatively yeah it has shaped them and they don't know like some people are not even interested in getting married and even those that are interested in getting married they find it hard trusting anyone they are just drawn back they are taken aback by that fear what is that thing restraining you i just want to speak to you today i am not here to speak to you with force i'm here to beg you please i beg you let's go and let god open up your heart when you open up your heart when you position yourself very well when you restructure yourself very well you are definitely going to attract the right man you are definitely going to attract the right person carry yourself like you are already taken move in the spirit of someone that is taken like speak your desire into existence act your desire into existence carry your desire into existence look your desire into existence look like what you want to be you want to be a wife carry yourself like a wife don't carry yourself like a girlfriend material don't just be after things that are ephemeral no be after the long lasting things i find so many young girls they just want to answer i am in a relationship i have a boyfriend they want the validation that comes from being in a relationship but they lack the essence of being wives this is not me being insulting this is me telling you you have to evaluate yourself you have to ask yourself why am i in this relationship there are some people they are just in a relationship because they want to have fun and if you decide that all your life you want to have fun i'm not one to judge you i'm not one to tell you what to do or what to want for your life but if you are the person who wants something more you want a man that will be there permanently a man that will do the right thing for you then stop looking for the validation that comes from being in a relationship don't just be there looking for i want a boyfriend i want a boyfriend my friend um my friend sonia has a boyfriend my friend sophie has a boyfriend my friend divine has a boyfriend her boyfriend bought her a car her boyfriend bought her a bag her boyfriend took her out look at the cute picture she took with her boyfriend oh my god look at them on instagram they are so picture perfect oh my god this that and all of that you are looking from the validation that comes from being in a relationship because other people are in relationships you want to go into a relationship you want to be someone in a relationship and you actually forget the most important thing that this relationship where is it heading to are you just in this relationship for both of you to use yourselves and dump yourselves and you get hurt in the process you keep on going round and round and round and round and at the end of the day you look at you look at your life and it feels like you have wasted your time you feel useless you feel stupid so many ladies today don't believe they can find happiness they don't believe they can find the right man some people when they go online and see things people say online this person's husband beat her this person's husband killed her this person's husband did this did that and all of that they get discouraged they get scared they are so so scared and 
they don't know what to do and all of that and this is me telling you that you should not allow other people's stories to deter you you should not allow other people's woes to derive you of your happiness okay let me give you an example now if you stay here now and you hear that someone had an accident while traveling or someone had an accident on their way to work will that stop you from going to work today or tomorrow will that stop you from traveling if you want to travel no it's not going to stop you so you're not going to say because others went into marriages because others went into relationships because you don't want to get hurt you just want to play along so that you don't get hurt in the process you don't say because other people's situation did not end up right then your situation is not going to end up right so you don't just want to get hurt oh my god you're going to feel dejected you're going to feel down you're going to feel rejected in the long run if you finish restraining yourself if you finish drawing yourself back and you have nothing to show for it this is not me saying that you need a man to be happy in life if you if, if your desire in life is not to get married fine but i'm speaking to ladies who actually want to settle down who actually want to have a man that they can call theirs who actually and if you clicked on this video then you actually want to know how you you attract the right man so i am talking to you don't hold yourself back by these things they are just holding you back they're just keeping you back keep up the wife energy keep up the determined energy the self-confident energy by trying to grow mentally physically emotionally spiritually by seeking validation from God and not from man not from men who are lusting after you not from girls who are competing with you girls who are making you feel inferior you don't need validation from people like that you need validation from the Almighty God you need to pray you need to position yourself very well you need to make sure you are the right person for the right person you are looking for you need to be compassionate you need to be willing to help others your courage is the most important thing i've rambled enough but i just decided to come and deliver this message that i received in my heart i don't know where this message came from i don't know who who ministered this message to me but i just decided to minister this message to give out this message to anyone listening to me here so that you be motivated so that you be inspired so that you'll be encouraged i know this my video is going to serve as an encouragement to so many young ladies out there do the right thing and <laughs> hopefully it's it's going to end in praise i remain your favorite baby girl there is all on the microphone if you're new to my channel and you like this video to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel click on that subscribe button we are on our journey to 5k we are on our way to 5k click on that beautiful red subscribe button share this video to any young lady you feel this video will be useful to even young men even married ladies i think everyone needs this you need to be validated by god and not by man and i think i've said enough i'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video for now bye kiss kiss love ya